Hello, welcome to my channel. Hi. This is new. Um, so my name is Katrina. I'll use this, uh, this episode to introduce myself to you and feel free to introduce you to me in the comments. Uh, so yeah, I'm Katrina, aka Pilot Mom. I'm born and raised in Toronto, more specifically Scarborough. And uh, fast forward through to college, I uh, studied broadcasting and film to be a famous television news reporter. Uh, graduated into the 2008 recession, so there were no jobs. People are getting fired and not hired, so that was less than ideal. Uh, served at many restaurants through a couple of years there. And then I was coming back from a trip to Florida, walking through Toronto Pearson airport. And I see a crew with the bags and they're walking through the airport. And I'm like, Hmm, I wonder if I can do that. I never thought I could because I didn't speak French. Uh, applied at a couple of airlines, got an interview at Sunwing, got the job, didn't speak French, so I couldn't fly out of places like Montreal and Quebec city, but that was okay. I got to go to a lot of really cool places otherwise. Um, and enjoyed my time there. Uh, got to do a lot of really cool flying and, um, into nice warm tropical destinations. And, um, so I spent a couple of years doing that. And then I, um, applied to be a cabin safety manager, which I got that job. And, uh, cabin safety manager is the in charge or purser or flight director or whatever you like to call it. We call them CSMs, cabin safety managers at Sunwing. And that's just the person who's making sure that the flight is flowing properly. Uh, and then I became a cabin safety instructor. So I taught people how to become flight attendants as well as did some of the recurrent training for the uh, current flight attendants. Um, really enjoyed that. And then I was like, hmm, I'd like a new challenge, but I want to stay in the sky. I really love cabin safety stuff, but uh, the next kind of step for that would be keeping me in an office. And I didn't exactly want that. So I thought about it. I thought about it. And I said, I'm going to be a pilot. Growing up, um, I was in special ed and um, I thought I was diagnosed with ADD, but my mom says no, but I struggled in some in, in school. Um, the things I would really excel in were things I had an interest in. And if I didn't have an interest in it, I didn't really want to give it any of my time. Uh, so that's always kind of set, set me back psychologically. I always thought like, I was in special ed, I can't do something. It really gives you a, I can't do mentality. So even when I play with the idea of becoming a pilot, I would just kind of shove it away. But then I was like, I can do this. So I quit my job at 30 years old at Sunwing and I went to flight school and a lot of my uh, classmates were not even of legal drinking age yet. So that was a, that was a whole thing, uh, but it was great. I had a great, great class. I took a, a course called an IATPL program, which is the Integrated Airline Transport Pilots License Program. And it is like a fast track, this 18 month program. Um, they're almost every day training. Um, at the beginning, I was struggling with a confidence issue. I was just you know, I had a lack of confidence. And again, I think that stems back to those elementary school days where I just didn't think I could do things. Fast forward a little bit through flight school and we started doing the instrument rating stuff and I really, really gained the confidence there. Um, I love the IFR stuff. I love the like clarity of what, what you need to do, when you need to do it. The rules are the rules. I've always been a big rule follower. Uh, so I have exactly what I need to know. And, uh, it was, that was just kind of when things really turned around for me and I really started to enjoy it. Not that I didn't enjoy it before. I really did enjoy it before, but it just kind of clicked. Graduated that and I got my first flying job a place called La Ronge, Saskatchewan, and uh, I flew a plane called the King Air 200, and that was medevacs for the most part. I was on call medevac pilot, and we did some charters, so that was taking us up into northern Saskatchewan. If Saskatchewan's here, La Ronge is just kind of right smack dab in the middle, but it is considered northern uh, Saskatchewan, so got to do some cool stuff there. <clears throat> That's where I met my husband. He was actually my captain, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I then got a job flying a dash eight out of Edmonton. So I moved to Edmonton and my lovely husband followed me, but he was still working in, in uh, Saskatchewan. So he was doing a two week rotation. So 14 days on 14 days off, you come to Edmonton area on the days off and be with me and then go back and fly out of a place called Stony Rapids. And, uh, yeah, so flying the dash eight around and not too long after that, I got pregnant and, uh, not long after that, 
the pandemic started. <laughs> And it was really hard at first with Riley being away for two weeks. I was by myself, pregnant in a place I knew nobody. All of my family was back in Ontario. Riley was in Saskatchewan. Riley's family was in Saskatchewan. So it was so hard. It was a very sucky time. Um, then, what do we do then? Move back to, we moved to Saskatoon uh, when I was pretty pregnant and uh, bought a house there. And this is again through the pandemic and had read in September of 2020. And uh, I was just going to commute to Edmonton when I went back to work. Uh, but we did want to have the babies back to back just so I didn't have to. When I go back to flying, um, it's going to be a lot of training right off the bat. So I didn't want to have a disruption in between. Um, so I ended up getting pregnant again and we moved back to Alberta. <laughs> so that's where we are now. And, oh, that's not why we moved back, sorry. So when I had Archie, is our second baby of March, 2022, uh, 21 minutes after he was cut out of me, I had a C-section, uh, Riley got an email that he was, he got a new job at the company that I floor, fly for. 21 minutes after I were welcoming a new life into this world, our lives are changing again, a new job in a different province. So then we moved back to Alberta, which is where we are now. Um, yeah, so I am currently on mat leave until March, end of March. Uh, I will be going back and flying a plane called the Boeing 737. So I'm very excited about that. It was one of my like hopeful dream planes. And the reason for that is because that's what I was a flight attendant on. So that's pretty neat. Um, also, just a quick backstory, going back when I worked in La Ronge uh, to subsidize <laughs> what I made for uh, flying because pilots their first job usually don't make a lot of money I got a job at a radio station um Saskatchewan's indigenous radio station MBC so it, that's also a fun full circle thing for me that uh, I studied broadcasting and film never was able to use it I moved to La Ronge, Saskatchewan become a pilot and work on the radio so that was kind of neat but also going back back to that um in broadcasting and film, like being a pilot, so often you have to leave where you're from to go into a smaller market to get your experience and your hours, and then you can move, you know, wherever you'd like to after that. So it's neat kind of how these parallels work in, um, in both of those um, kind of career loves of my life. Uh, so why am I here? Why am I doing this? Um, when I tell people that I'm a pilot, one of two things happens. The first is they tell me their horror stories about flying, you know, oh, my flight was delayed. Why do you think it was delayed? Oh, there was turbulence. Why is there turbulence? Or they'll say, I'm flying with my kid and I'm confused. I don't know what to bring. Can I bring this? Can I not bring this? Can the stroller fit here? What do you think about car seats? And I know the answers to this, to these questions. And if I don't, I will always look into them and help you out. So I will help you with those questions. I forgot what I was going to say. Um, I'm here for you. Pick my brain. If you have questions about anything, please, please, please let me know. I would love to help you out. If you'd like to talk about uh, other stuff, other flying stuff, I would love to do that as well. Flight training, we can go through when I start training for the Boeing 737. Uh, take you along for that. And I'm, I'm here for you. Uh, and thank you for being here for me. And we'll chat next time and i think since this is youtube i have to say something like like comment and subscribe so if you don't mind that'd be great <laughs>